Okay, three, two, one, go. Hi everyone, this is my weekly message. I hope this is useful for you. Sometimes it's not, probably all the time, it's not the words that you say, it's the energy, the intent, the awareness behind them. And so it's not about saying the right thing at the right time, although that certainly can be useful. It's about learning to listen to the intervals and the space between the spaces, as I have talked about so many times. That's where the magic is. It's if you could let go of the idea that you're in control of anything and truly, truly trust the universe, not to give you, you know, like that bicycle you want or the brand new car. I've had all those things, by the way, or the new the new perfect relationship. There is no such thing as a perfect relationship, particularly if you're talking about yourself, because you know you're not perfect. Why would you even need to look for a relationship if you thought you were complete inside? And then that relationship with 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 other is really just a mirror of self. And that self is really just an expression of the universe. So finding that self-expression as the breathing in and the breathing out and the rhythm that takes place in your life and letting go and letting that rhythm it's like i never when i get on the escalator at the airport and i'm on the air i'm at the airport a lot i get on the escalator i never well unless i'm in a hurry which occasionally but i usually just stand there i'm just grateful in fact i lean my butt against the 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 um not the escalator the um the, the treadmill, <laughs> that's what it looks like, rats on a treadmill at the airport. The treadmill that takes you from one part of the airport to another in a large airport. I lean against the side of the thing, out of the way of everybody, and I just breathe. Now, as you get older, <laughs> if you're grateful you can breathe, and particularly you don't want to, if you're exerting yourself, it gets a little hard to breathe. Um, so it's okay. It's okay to slow down. It's okay to let life tug you along in the current rather than you swimming madly for a goal that you you know it's like i almost drowned one time a long time ago when i was a kid very young uh, and i used to swim i guess pretty good i got in the in the lake with this young woman and we were going to swim across and the funny thing about this is is we had this goal but as we started swimming, we were in there for a while, we realized the goal wasn't getting any closer. It was actually a mirage. And huh, then I was kind of like drowning. And thankfully, someone actually took it seriously because we were kids and pulled me into the boat. Well, I never would have made it across by myself with individual effort. I had to rely on the good graces of the universe. And it's that idea, you know, that Oh, you pray to God for something, and then, and then, you're you're sitting on the house, and the house is, uh, you know, sinking in the water or something, and they send they send a boat. They said, No, I'm waiting on God. They send a helicopter. No, I'm waiting on God. And then you drown, and then you say, Well, what's wrong? Well, I sent you a boat, and I sent you a helicopter. What do you want? So that's my message for today. Don't be a boat or a helicopter, and certainly, don't drown in a sea of troubles. Allow yourself to float. Thank you.